there is so many different options you have when you decide to get yourself a hot hatch and recently we had a bit of a mini series in terms of the hot hatches available here in Kenya we started off with the 308 diesel which was an absolute talk monster and then we went on to the Megane RS and just touched it a little bit recently though I had the A250 Sport and I said something that bothered a couple of people with all that said sat in this A250 Sport I'd take this over a GTI. Come to think of it, maybe I was a bit wrong. Right, I know in the Mercedes-Benz video, Lady Guza Murima, and we decided, you know what, for the next follow-up video in our short series, watch on Nipane Murima Nyone Venyana Kaoko Ju. So our friends over at Phoenix Automotive and Car Barn, both located along Kiambu Road, called us over and told us, you know what, we have a lovely GTI, not just any GTI, a Cox GTI. But let's talk about the exterior first before we dive into exactly what Cox did to this car. Starting from the front fascia, a GTI, it's simply beautiful you cannot mistake it for anything else specifically because of this red bit of trim over here that runs all the way into these headlights speak of the headlights you've got some massive bright projector beams as well as the signature drls going down a little bit forward like it's just mm, you've got these wolverine-esque claw mark looking dive planes that dive into a bit of a fog lights down here and then this body colored lip at the bottom it's just a stunning front and slightly wider shoulders at the front it's just it's so aggressive and then of course i can't go without talking about this carbon fiber wrapped bonnet stunning red gti badging again stunning we should really launch merch with just the word stunning <laughs> on them now let's talk about these front tires these are 18 inch alloy wheels real chuma yadoshi <laughs> i know that's something papa skofu normally says but why can't i steal it for now then if you look in here you've got these lovely massive rotors with the red calipers that is a little bit of the cox touch while we're here let's talk about what exactly cox has done to this car in the engine bay they have reworked the turbo piping putting in more durable silicon piping to make that a bit more reliable additionally they've added something known as a wet air filter what is a wet air filter you might be asking me it's basically just a very clever system that purifies the air a little bit more additionally they put in more reinforced uh brake lines and fuel lines to make the power delivery even more reliable and more punchy over here on the suspension mcpherson's at the front but what else did cox do cox decided we'll add more dampers and more struts reinforce the struts and the trusses that connect the tires to the car making the handling a lot more better going down the side of this car you have these again body colored side mirrors with drls and indicators on the side absolutely lovely bit of kit and then of course this large cox livery on the side i personally i'm of the opinion it looks a little bit too busy that's not for me but then again different strokes for different folks now the back of this car it's it's just lovely you've got this little bit of trim that goes over here to make it give it like a sort of false rear spoiler with the rear brake light just hidden right in there and then going down cox decided to add a little chrome badge over there it just looks lovely your signature vw tailgate opener right there and the gti emblem but let's just take a second to admire these lights i i i just love them they look mwah. it's like little bits of diffused red scarlet lights just floating in ice they've just been sculpted so well and then going down these exhaustives real mercedes-benz as much as i like benz that's embarrassing 
Cox and even the regular GTIs come with real exhaust tips, but I tend to prefer these Cox tips. Then you have a little bit of a false diffuser at the back. The whole back end of this car is very neat. This is a very smart looking car. Nothing shabby about this. Opening up the tailgate, as you can see, it's not that big, but it's significantly bigger than the one in the A250. This means you can carry way more body, way more six packs. And I think the person who's buying this car is pretty much older by. <laughs> There's nothing else to put in the back of this car. It's definitely not one to take you to shags and all that, but it can carry your day to day shopping. Now, <sighs> I'm sorry, but we're going to have to go into the interior. Um, just, just follow me. Hopping into this interior, let me get one thing very clear from the beginning. I understand this is not meant to be a luxury car, and I get it's meant to be more driver-oriented, hence these bucket seats that hold you into place. But for 3 million shillings, why do I still have manual seats that I have to come on come on the mercedes benz was 2.9 million shillings and i got the leather seats electronically adjustable as standard and this checkerboard design like i'd mentioned earlier in the previous video if i wanted a math book i would buy a formula book from the supermarket regardless there are a couple of things that i genuinely do like about this interior like i mentioned i love how the seats hold me in place moving on to what's exactly in front of me i am a big fan of this steering wheel everything is ergonomical the paddle shifters are right here they're very snappy and tactile these buttons multifunctional steering wheel i'm able to control my infotainment as well as a couple of my driver aids just from the touch of my thumbs these gauge uh what are these called again yeah these control stocks they're also very very functional they do take a little bit of getting used to but they're not that bad moving on into the gauge cluster you do have your rev counter right there very big very large and your speedo again on this other side vw tends to keep the things generally the same just a couple of improvements the, the overall stuck with that analog feel with just a small little screen on the inside just to give you a couple more of those notifications here and there now moving on to the center console again you do have this really large touch sensitive display that gives you all the information that you need you can set up everything from the individual driving modes to the various different settings you want on the car ambient lighting exterior lighting it's a very intuitive infotainment system but i'm not a big fan of the plastic all over here it is very cheap feeling shall i say but again before the vw warriors get to me i get it's a driver oriented car but for that three million i just expect a little bit better regardless of that i know a place where that three million shillings is hiding let's take a look under the hood the mark 7 gti comes from factory with a two liter four cylinder turbo petrol known as the ea triple eight the engine is mated to a 7-speed DSG that sends all its power to the front wheels. How much power? Well, about 270 horsepower and 395 newton meters of torque, all thanks to that Cox kit. Now, with that said, let's see how it drives. You said six seconds. You ready? I'm ready. What? What? Whoa. Okay, uh, corner. Whoa. Those brakes, those so, brakes are so good. <laughs> wow. So. Wow, wow. Tell me, what are the numbers? I got seven seconds. Seven seconds? Seven seconds. Pretty, seven pretty seconds. good. Considering how heavy <laughs> this car is right now, we are yeah. quite a few and in It's this a seven car. year old car also. Seven years old. We're quite a few in this car. There's a lot of equipment yeah. in the back. Hey, and the AC is on. And I'm gonna meet with you. So minus a second from Bugua. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, but that <laughs> felt <laughs> really good. Sana, that so, felt really good. But the turbo lag was a bit. Was a bit more depth from yeah. the from the. Can you try it here? And see without the boosting. See how it goes. Okay, let's give so that a shot that. quickly. We're at so a complete roll. standstill. So I want you to roll and okay. then you ready? Give it. I'm um, ready and let's go. Just a bit of roll and then there's still that lag. Oh. Whoa. 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 Yeah, still get seven seconds. Still get seven seconds. Seven right? seconds, yeah. Jeez. Ooh. Jeez. Those brakes are just Ooh. beautiful. 
Det er sammen med min bare inderst og pisse. Woo! Og der råber en. Det er loud. But anyway, the bricks. Yeah. Cocks have done something to them. They fine tune the calipers, the rotors, everything. Everything, yeah. Definitely. You're getting a more cohesive package. And the brick parts in your they are dust free. Sometimes they say they're dust free. Not sure about that. I don't know. Because the only dust free, I think, they the carbon set, ceramic. The, the carbon ceramic. Yes, yes. But I yes, don't know yes. what cooks is using. Anyway, how does it feel driving this car? So, all in all, this car feels fantastic to drive. Ooh, okay. Volkswagen put together such a beautiful package. The steering is really direct, especially in sports mode. It stiffens up really, really well. That makes maneuvering such a breeze. Ooh. And the suspension, oh, it's a bit firm. It's firm. Those cork springs, they're like thicker and a bit shorter. They have a much shorter coil. So you get more of that feedback, especially when you're going through the road. But last and not least is those pedals. Now, it's very snappy. It's almost on off, right? Okay. Especially once the turbo kicks in, because look, I've let off and then just get pushed back into the seat. <laughs> it's it's such a rowdy car. But oh. something else I don't like about it, road noise. But it's ridiculous. Cox, say, the Cox the, do say in their book when I say, Ma, it, got in the road, it does a bit of still be rough. It will be quite It will quite be rough. rough. Actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the suspension that you get it's more rigid more steady but oh for those of you wondering what Mbogo is referencing Kitabuya Mbogo will put a cut away here of the Cox when you get the whole package done they give you a book telling you exactly what they've done to your car which I think is very nifty yeah. it's quite quite a nice touch it, make, quite it like makes it. you feel like you're buying a Lamborghini something with your own yeah. specs on your car now speaking of that let's just go back to that suspension again uh -huh. the way this car just handles into corners it just it grips In like oh like no lean no roll, all thanks to those dampers and the struts and everything. The way they've all just been meshed together. Wonderful. I, I messed up in that bed. You messed here. up. Remember, <laughs> see me, me, but me, me, the only thing, <laughs> the only difference as a passenger that I don't like, I feel it's just the Nikola but it's a bit bare, right? It's a bit bare, but most, most, but I, okay, I won't say most because when you go to the Magan, it may feel basic, but you have some of the major things that are on sports car you have if the infotainment system looks kind of basic but it has so many things in it the seats the steering kind of feels more sporty than there's very little difference between this and the TSI. And the TSI exactly. So in my experience, okay. right, I would prefer a much chunkier steering wheel, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit smaller because this is really, really big. I like how it's driver Everything. oriented. Everything is facing me as the driver. These seats, as ugly and as basic as they are, they do hold me in really, really well. And I would, I, I couldn't, okay, I can't ask for more because three million shillings, and I don't even get leather or electronically adjustable but seats. I mean, I don't have a car, so again, you can't really rock on a USB. Because I'll even do a Touareg, some of the Touareg still, Tiguans have the, when I put a kitty car class. It almost feels like they cheap out on some of these things, which is, in my I opinion, don't care. not a good look. No, I kind of do care. Maybe yeah, I don't care, to be honest. In terms of the, the power of Mbele, moving your kitty. See that it will make you forget that you don't have an electric seat. <laughs> the corner. Uh, let's go into this corner properly. Yonder. It's so blunted. My lord. It's that is not even beautiful. body roll. Whoa. So. But then again, Bugua, with all that said, this and the Benz? Only the GTI. I the told you from the word go. Remember I said the GTI? There's a reason. This it's the Mercedes Benz, the A250, uh, just Kokawaida. It's good, it's nice, it's fast, it's different. But this GTI has proven itself. Right, now we've taken quite a bit of time examining this car's strengths weaknesses in and out we've taken a look at its power chain the interior the exterior with everything said and done regarding the video that i made against the mercedes-benz i uh, i was wrong i want this gti i need a gti in my life <laughs>